So now I want to talk to you all about surgical management options for eustachian tube dysfunction. For most people, medical management alone, which typically includes nasal sprays, nasal saline irrigations, will be adequate treatment. For those who have persistent symptoms despite medical therapy, there's a variety of surgical options available for this. Many of these we do right here in the office, which avoids the need for general anesthesia, the complications that come along with that, and the recovery that comes along with that. One of the first line therapies that we use are ear tubes, which yes, are similar to the ear tubes that kids get put in for recurrent ear infections. Again, that's a minimally invasive procedure that we do right in the office under local anesthesia that people tolerate quite well and can relieve their symptoms almost instantaneously. A newer treatment option that we've implemented in the office is something called eustachian tube balloon dilation. This is a treatment that actually treats the eustachian tube itself, also performed in the office, where a small catheter with a balloon is inserted into the eustachian tube opening itself. The eustachian tube balloon is inflated and held for two minutes, then deflated and taken out. So nothing actually stays in the eustachian tube itself, but the effect of dilating it can improve eustachian tube function for up to five years after the procedure, providing patients with lasting and meaningful relief.